My name is Herman Brouwer from Wageningen University and Research in the Netherlands and I'm one of the co-organizers of the e-course on food systems. And this course first started as a course meant for civil servants of the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Dutch Ministry of Agriculture worldwide. And we conducted the course early in 2021 for about 120 uh, staff members and they really had the question about, you know, we hear talking about food systems a lot. We want to work with the concept of food systems in our work uh, at the ministry, but can you help us unpack what it really means and how we can make it practical? So that's what we, uh, what we did. And the enthusiasm of the participants really encouraged us to conduct a second course for all partners of the Netherlands for 550 participants. And this course in short, really tackles the question, why would a food system approach be relevant? Uh, what does it matter really? How much is it different from, let's say, a value chain approach or from other production centric uh, approaches to working with food and agriculture? It's really trying to bring in also the consumer perspective and the environmental dimensions of food systems and really tries to kind of help you understand some of the trade-offs that there are between the different goals and that food systems uh, can have and also try to look for synergies that can help you uh, really make food systems move towards a much better place than where they often are today. My name is Ivas Juliti Valgonzeka. I am the Executive Director for Goshen's Fountain of Nutrition and Health, an NGO based in Uganda. I've just taken the e-course in food systems and I'm very excited. I enrolled for this course to gain system thinking, uh, systems dynamics approach on agriculture, the food value chains and food and nutrition security. I also wanted to acquire skills, tools to transform the food system in an innovative, inclusive and sustainable way. I now know that I need to steer people to change their mindsets uh, to, um, from just consuming calories to, to having a healthy diet. And I believe this will go a long way to solving the malnutrition problems in all its forms. During increasing conversations around food systems and food systems analysis that are geared towards creating solutions to various societal challenges. I wanted to know more about food systems transformations. That's why I was so happy to participate in this food systems e-course. Doing the e-course, I was inspired by the amount of work put in by the organizers and mentors to share with us a huge amount of resources. From video links to case studies and other reference materials, I am sure that the extensive information provided by this e-course widened the perspective of the participants and brought about a lot of ideas on food systems transformations. It was also inspiring to engage with other participants from various countries during the group works, group assignments, and other group discussions. In my role, as a resource person of the Philippine government in supporting and conceptualizing subnational and national food systems dialogues. I am using this learning too in my work with the Philippines Partnership for Sustainable Agriculture, a multi-stakeholder partnership platform catalyzed by Grow Asia. We drive our crop-based and thematic working group conversations towards a food systems approach to enable and empower smallholder farmers and also the Philippine agricultural sector in general. We co-organized it together with people uh, from uh, Dutch embassies and the Dutch ministries who also acted as mentors to some of the small groups, as well as the Netherlands Food Partnership that has been co-facilitating and uh, really been a partner in this process. The course is built up around four modules. There's a module around what is a food system, basically. Then uh, a second module it helps you to really do a food system analysis 
of a food system that is relevant for you. Uh, the third module is about food system transformation. What does transformation mean? And if we talk about food system transformation, is this something that just happens? Or is it something that also can deliberately be steered or nudged? And the fourth module talks about food system governance. And governance, of course, is much more than just the government uh, and its policies. It's also about uh, the institutions that are needed in order to make the transitions possible that are needed and also about the engagement of different stakeholders in society in together shaping uh, what food systems uh, could look like and how they want to undertake actions to, uh, uh, to make these changes reality. Hi, my name is Paul Zatu from Ghana and I am a research assistant with the World Vegetable Center. My participation in the course was to better understand the concepts of food systems and how to conduct the food systems analysis using a food systems approach and to better understand how a food systems approach can be used in transforming the status of our current food systems. Participating in the course has been one of the best experiences in my professional career and all my expectations were met. The facilitators have been amazing, professional and highly knowledgeable in the subject matter. The various models have been very interesting, educative and interactive. I enjoyed listening to the wealth of knowledge and experiences shared from facilitators during the plenary session. What was inspiring for me was having to work in groups with colleagues from different countries, backgrounds and with different perspectives having to consolidate our differences and making sure that we always provide relevant and constructive solutions to our assignment has really been inspiring. I work in the field of vegetable research for development with the World Vegetable Center in Ghana and I foresee that food systems analysis and approaches could play a vital role in realizing the key flagship areas of my organization which are safe and sustainable valuations healthy diets and vegetable diversity and improvement. With one of the key flagship areas being safe and sustainable value chains, food system analysis could be employed to run a more holistic and diverse analysis of food systems to strengthen of vegetable food systems, to strengthen the rules vegetables play in improving food systems outcomes in Ghana. The course has contributed in updating and upgrading my knowledge and capabilities in the fields related to food systems and also through interacting with other colleagues participating in the course I have acquired several experiences and knowledge in that field. Also the course coincided with the Food Systems Summit and Jordan is preparing its sub-national and national dialogues, which I moderated. So the course has contributed a lot to improving my knowledge and enabled me to convey the knowledge to other participants in different parts in Jordan. Uh, at the same time, Jordan is embarking on a major exercise. That is the preparation of the first food security strategy and its action plan. So what I learned and what I updated of my knowledge has been integrated in the strategy and the action plan, which hopefully will find its way to implementation soon. I believe that we'll have more synergies and trade-offs. And what I've learned most in this course is that um, we do not need to know only the power, the influence and the interest of our stakeholders but also to have inclusions. We strongly need to influence our governance to, to have more favorable integrated policies to move away from silo thinking. And I also believe that we can move away from just poverty reduction to quality of life. I want to appreciate Wahangin University of, of Research the Netherlands Food Partnership and the Netherlands Ministry of Foreign Affairs for having given me this opportunity to partake of this course. And I hope we shall remain in touch. I thank you.
Truly, I enjoyed participating in this Food Systems e-course. I thank the organizers, speakers, mentors, and other people behind this worthwhile activity. Thank you for empowering us as we empower other people. Truly, the power of knowledge will enable us to do greater and more meaningful works. Thank you.